शिवाय इट्स बीन अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टेन डेज आफ्टर दैट सन हैज सन इज फाइनली आउट एंड वी कैन एंजॉय द सन अदरवाइज इट्स ऑलवेज रेनी क्लाउडी विंटर हियर इन मेलबर्न सो आई डिसाइडेड टू सेट हियर इन द सन सन लाइट टू मेक द वीडियोज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फिनोमिना दैट एग्जिस्ट सिंस लास्ट आई डोट नो थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इयर्स एंड दैट फिनोमिना इज कॉल्ड एज कुल देवता और कुल देवी ओके और यू कैन से फैमिली डेटी ओके in english if, if you would like to understand <clears throat> then it's called family deity so this phenomena exists since last thousands of years and it's a proven phenomena okay and i'm going to explain why today's generation feels very confused about it does not understand the full full impact or the full dimension of it and uh, that's why they do not see it as relevant in today's time and age and culture and then there are repercussions of it okay so what this phenomena is let's understand that there is there are going to be 112 people lifetimes after lifetimes from generations after generations you are going to you know have this uh, phenomena of uh, having a person in your family and it could be a person of really high consciousness it could be actually a devi or a devata or it could be just anybody okay somebody who has tried to protect the family of those 112 people so that others cannot do bad karma towards them so that a lot of cosmic things we call that adi daivik dukha adi daivik dukha is a type of suffering which is due to floods due to lightning somebody's house burned down due to flood you are evacuated or your property and your wealth and everything is just you know goes down the drain or some fire happens on your property in your house or some other weird natural phenomena natural calamity happens where your family gets impacted real bad so somebody has worked some some devi devata some shakti shakti in some form either in the form of devi or devata where there is no human like body or shakti in the form of a guru or some really strong person in your family whose consciousness was so pure that he or she ended up working for your family for the protection of your family and always and always in any lifetime 112 people or and in this day and age you can say that you know 108 people uh actually are born one after the other lifetimes together to spiritually grow to spiritually evolve together to grow as a family to live in the world together to resolve the any karmic lessons or learn the karmic lessons that they have got and resolve the karma with each other these 112 people may consist of your teacher your your all your family people your cousin your grandparents any anybody they they are born life somebody may be a teacher today in this lifetime they may become your grandfather or grandmother or may become your child in the next lifetime so this phenomena exists right that there is the, we call such shakti or shakti in any form either in the form of devi devata or shakti in the form of a human being and we call such focal point of shakti as kul devata or kul devi okay and the job of this 
कुल देवी और कुल देवता इज टू प्रोटेक्ट द पीपल ऑफ दैट फैमिली सो बिकॉज दे आर ऑफ दे आर गिवन प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ सच अ पर्सन सच अ शक्ति इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग और देवी देवता वी ऑफन एंड अप प्रेइंग टू दीज शक्तिज एंड कुल देवता और कुल देवती देवी वी एंड अप प्रेइंग टू देम बिफोर डूइंग एनी थिंग बिग इन इन अवर लाइफ ओके एवरी फैमिली इन इंडिया हैज अ कुल देवी और कुल देवता नाउ मॉडर्न जनरेशन मे नॉट नो हु इज देअर कुल देवी और हु इज देअर कुल देवता एंड दैट्स अ बैड थिंग टू हैपन वाई आई एम सेइंग दिस इज दैट सी दैट दैट ह्यूमन बींग्स हैव द ability through their consciousness because we are conscious beings right so we have the ability to raise the chaitanya or the consciousness even into a stone a sculpture that is made up of stone we call such a sculpture which has been consecrated and which has been done so much of efforts of spiritual practices and practices that uh, chaitanya or the consciousness starts we we have invoked the conscience consciousness in that so to such devis and devatas we have that ability to do so right so just because we just like we have the ability to invoke the consciousness in anything then if people keep doing puja keep worshiping such a kul devi and kul devata generation after generation then mind it very seriously that it has the shakti it has the power to protect you it has the power to stop lot of people from committing the bad karma towards you human beings are born to do karma right we are born to do karma and lot of people are doing that karma so that all that karma can negative karma can be warded off there is still a practice a deep and great practice that exist <clears throat> in the society even in today's world for black magic right that we know as black magic a lot of black magic can be warded off if you know who is your kul devata or kul devi and you are also involved in worshiping them you are regularly worshiping them regular worship is mandatory for a kul devi or a kul devta so when you are born a lot of sanskaras are done to you right external for the physical body for this lifetime a lot of sanskaras are done in the indian culture in the indian phenomena first one is the naming namaskaran sanskara means where you are given a name and that puts a uh impression in your subconscious in your unconscious it puts an impression of okay this is the name that this body will be known as so that name becomes realized or you can say that name becomes siddh for this body and then after that there is a hair removing sanskara right first the whatever birth hairs are there they have to be removed so mundan sanskara happens or bal bal tyagna right that sanskara is given so just like lot of sanskaras were given to you exactly in the same way the sanskara that this is your kul devi or kul devata is also given to you okay and before doing anything important like somebody is going to try going to go and find a job then they need to pray to or bow down their to the kul devi or the devta somebody is buying a house in the family then they need to do the same somebody is doing uh, some new child is born then that child is always taken to the kul devi or the kul devta after they are born uh, and uh, people may have a designated temple for that kul devi or kul devta or there may be just ancestral house where that kul devi or devta's temple is or it could be just a simple stone kind of a thing and not so much of a 
idol or a murti kind of a thing so even that can exist means some form is given for you to put your intention on okay and then that shakti is invoked in that particular form so form does not matter nothing matters because forms can be invoked and consciousness can be invoked in any kind of an object and regular puja regular worship ensures that the shakti or the state of that consciousness stays alive in the sense that it provides protection it gives you ideas it stops you from walking on the wrong path in fact you may find it really hard to believe just because you have you may not have reached that ritnambara pragya or that state of consciousness where your wisdom body vigyanamaya kosh comes alive comes into your perception so you may find it really hard to believe that actually all the people those modern generation people or the this generation people or even in my generation the people or the kids or the those who have suffered from any kind of mental problems those who have suffered from lot of upheaval in their life they are the people those who do not understand this concept of kul devi or kul devata they have ignored that entire thing lot of them even in my generation do not even know who is their kul devi or kul devata it has gone to that bad it has become that bad now so you see it can protect you not just from the somebody doing externally bad karma to you it also protects you from lot of mental worries that you have got how and why understand this from the example that a lot of people in india and even outside even we have got got it that people have security cameras in their house right if you have something to protect and you know that you know you need you need a security camera so then you put the security cameras and you rely on that security camera and sometimes when you are going outside your house for 10 days 15 days you are touring traveling and touring somewhere then you are least worried about the house because you have the security camera and security system so it will create you know the alarm will happen the alarm may alert the neighbors or may alert the um secure uh, police or fire brigade or whomsoever and that way your house is always being monitored okay and you these days there are applications on your mobile which you can use to actually look inside your house or outside your house depending upon which camera are you look, looking for so there are, so you see how much peace of mind happens because you have security cameras in your house right imagine lot of other kinds of security that you are scared you are going to a completely unknown country city or place and uh, you are uh, fearful on the day one you are a little bit insecure there and imagine if your friend or your elder brother or your sister or somebody or your father somebody worked there to guide you on day one how much confident and easy going you will be it could be just the college actually right how much easier it will be for you that at least you know one person there and you won't feel totally lost alone on your day one and you have to start the journey afterwards somebody is there to help you out somebody with whom you can talk isn't that kind of a emotional security that you are always looking for in life why do you have friends then why do you have all the relatives and people then because you look for emotional security why do you have cameras in your house or security systems built in, into your house into your uh, school in in our in our society in our neighborhood why security system exists why security system why is there an oxygen mask in the airplane why security exit exits are always explained to you before the flight takes off because knowing about the security relying on that security gives us a peace of mind you can live comfortably because you have all those security systems in place now those are physical security systems they may work they may not work exactly when you needed them they may not work 
and this is just one example that i am going to give you but uh, you can you can find such examples throughout the people those who have ever had done the worshiping of their kul devi and kul devata they can tell you very clearly how many times their family went through some sort of a financial hardship emotional hardship some disease happened some calamity happened and how they were saved by their kul devi or kul devata they can tell you a lot of stories i can tell you a story of how physical things and technical things may not work or what else may work from the background so we have this uh, uh, ma kali as our kul devi and uh, one day a really most poisonous snake of australia is the eastern brown it's one of the most poisonous one that can kill you the bite can kill you even the child snake baby snake can kill you in 2 minutes less than 3 minutes you can die it's that that serious of the venom that it has got so one day just few months ago that one of the eastern brown long snake snake it was like 12 feet 12 13 feet long adult snake eastern brown it crossed the it came from the road on my, the left side of my house and uh, it crossed the neighbor's front yard and then suddenly a car came and the car actually smashed the snake it just accidentally went over the snake and that snake got hurt and finally it came to my house and in the and it went inside the front deck now inside the deck there is no way to look look underneath it it's very difficult to look underneath it until you take out few planks from the deck okay so it's a wooden deck so it came inside that now my neighbor came running to my house and telling me that you should also check your security camera this snake has crossed my house around 120 so in 2 minutes or a minute less than a minute it will be in your house so your camera should have also caught it imagine that so you have a snake in your front front deck underneath you it went inside your front deck now i was you know we, we have kids in our house i thought what if that snake is that snake may have come out from the backyard the backyard gate has enough space for the snake to get in and because it's such a poisonous snake it may just roam around in my backyard in this temple that i am sitting in outside right it can get into any of my plants or anywhere and kids are often roaming outside even we as an adult are outside the house most of the time so i was like okay this needs to he need he needs to get caught we need to catch this snake we need to call the snake catching companies and uh, they can come and remove this snake and put put him into some forest and they'll just catch it and take it to the forest but before that i needed to know whether it really came to my uh, front front deck underneath my front deck or not and what happened then if he came there then when where did he go if he's hurt <clears throat> i checked my cameras magically every day security cameras are working perfectly fine just the recording of that camera from 115 to 130 pm in the afternoon was missing when i checked it when i tried to roll back the record recording from the cam security camera and look for the snake just from that time period just for that 15 minutes exactly at 115 the hard disk was full and it took the hard disk 15 minutes to actually completely erase the hard disk for all the previous recording and so that new recording can start so that time gap is there whenever the hard disk is full it will get erased right but that time gap is there and that happened especially when i needed the recording needed to see the recording so you see this is what technical systems are they may stop working and i later on when i dig into it i realize this happened without even hard disk being full hard disk had a lot of space somehow no recording happened from 115 to 
125, 130. No recording was there. And that too for the front camera. All the other cameras have the recording. The front camera has no recording. But two days later, there was a really bad smell as if something has died in the front. So that is when we realized the snake is still under the deck. And because of the, because the snake was hurt or something, we actually finally, after two, three hours of effort, finally this, those snake removal people, they pulled out the dead snake, eastern brown, 12 to 13 feet long. But it was dead. It didn't enter my house. Because the house is protected by so many other mantras and so many other shaktis and things. No harm happened. And this is just one incident that I am telling you. Now, modern people, those who want to say, okay, modern science and all that, they what they do not understand is that all the tools are made. Anything that science can prove is totally 3D. Beyond three, three dimensional, three dimensions that things cannot be proven. And that includes love. None of your emotions are can be seen or touched. Nobody can know whether you love somebody or not. So even love cannot be proven from that matter, from that perspective. Trying to prove things through a three-dimensional way, right? What people do not understand is that your entire, one of your entire kosha body layer or the sheath has been dedicated to the special knowledge and it's called as Vigyanamai Kosh. Vishesh Gyan or special wisdom, special knowledge kind of a uh, kosha, sheath that you have got. And that sheath, that entire sheath houses the Ritambhara Pragya or that special state of consciousness from where you can know anything and everything. That's how Charak Sahita was written by Sushrut Sahita was written by Sushrut and Charak by downloading all the information directly. So consciousness is the tool, Ritambhara Pragya is the tool which you need to have to understand the higher phenomena of this existence. You cannot rely on your cameras, your security cameras, this, that and for protection and for anything. Now, another question that may come is that why only in India this exists? Or in families from Indian origin, this kind of a phenomena or a concept exists. It doesn't exist in America. It doesn't exist in uh, uh, Europe or it doesn't exist in Australia or any other culture or family. It exists only in India. So that means nobody is protecting those people. Yes, that is true. That is so true. You are born as a human being. So your age, the body that you take and the religion that you are born into is according to the karma that you have done and the generations before you have done. You are carrying the karmic signature in your body, in your mind for your entire family. All the generations, seven generations behind you, before you. You are carrying the karmic signature in your physical body and in your mind. And you take the body in that country, place, culture according to your karma. So if you are born to an Indian family where you have this practice going on, where do you have this phenomena of Kula Devi or Kula Devta, then you need to ask and you need to start worshipping them. Why? It gives you peace of mind. It's a protection. It's a protection against black magic. It's a protection against all kinds of unnecessary hurdles that can be there in your path. Before you start studying something big in your university, before you get a job, before you get a new child or a new family member, before you go get a dog or before you get, get a cat or some other pet or before you do anything, before you marry, any big thing that you are trying to do, you need to worship them. And this is the reason we have to worship Kula Devi or Kula Devta from time to time. If I hadn't had the karma 
to be born into this phenomena then i would i would have born i have been born into america in other lifetime i have been born and i have been living here in australia now but i have in my previous lifetime have been born here so i have had karma in all those places yet my basic seven generation back kind of karma is actually tied to india that was all tied to india that's the reason so it's like you, if you are even today if you are born in uh, uh some places in mexico to the people or the culture of aztecs or mayans or if you are you are born in europe in nordic nordic culture or celtic culture then you will understand even they have these kind of practices where there is a family deity or you can call it family protection family protective angel or some angel or something that protects them and they are very serious about giving their children this knowledge this wisdom they have to pass on this wisdom that this is the kul devi or the family deity that we have to pray to and they, from time to time this is the way how you should be praying these are the different days and occasions when you should be praying and just do it don't try to use your small mind small brain that you have got in this small level of uh, experience that you have got in this lifetime don't rely so much on that because generations hundreds of generations before you have done all that for a reason so all the people that i see today in today's life today's modern world are uh, becoming mentally sick especially the mentally sick ones those who have got adhd add and or you know anxiety paranoia or uh, they are suffering from some other mental emotional problems a lot of people are going to psychiatrists psychologists all those problems would not have happened in the first place if you have taken care of this one thing a lot of people face unnecessary hurdles and now you may say how do i how do i meet or have direct experience of this kul devi or devata or this family family deity for worshiping how do i directly meet them it's very easy very easy the easiest thing to do all you have to do is just sincerely wish to meet them either in your dreams or through your subtle body you will definitely have an experience in few days in few weeks of time guaranteed way and that may make you that when you directly experience something that you know it that they exist it's not that difficult at all it's easier than getting the direct experience or darshan of any brahma shiva parmatma vishnu devi devtas and this and that and you know it's difficult to get go walk that path and it may take years or it may take entire lifetime to have the darshan of bhagwan in any other form but to get the darshan or direct experience of your kul devi or kul devta is the easiest thing to have all you have to do is just wish just worship just pray to them just wish to them and just tell them that i really want to directly see you i really want to directly experience you you will get it get it into your dreams you may have that experience uh, through your subtle body while you are sitting and they may also prove it to you through some very strange uh, incident you may be getting into an accident and you may wonder how am i alive and that has had that has also happened with me i would have gone underneath the truck with my car or i would have slipped thousands of feet down into the valley from the mountain i have done i have lived a really wild and crazy life from the adventurous point of view 
I would have died and given this body a long ago. This body would have been damaged long time ago. But there was always a sense in me that something protects me. Something, somebody, that protection is there. Because right at that moment when I was about to hit the truck or I was about to fell from the uh, mountain, just something happens, magical, mystical, without any explanation kind of a thing, happens and I am saved. My life is saved. This body is saved. Some, some strange man, magical thing or you can say mystical things happen. So there was always a sense since childhood in me that something protects me. Otherwise, the kind of crazy child that I was, I would have had, I had three fractures and I have done so many crazy things, adventurous things, I would have given up this body long ago. So you see, it is really important if you are born into a particular culture, if you are born into a particular religion, that you need to follow certain things. And one of the most important thing for your life for this generation is knowing who your Kul Devi and Kul Devatas are and knowing who your, uh, how to worship them. What are the different things that you can worship them from? It's like your go-to person. It's a very, very easy thing to talk to your Kul Devi or Kul Devata, your family deity. It's very easy to just talk to them and tell them, okay, I'm going to start a new job. Please take care of all the uh, bad things and please take care. Please don't give me much hurdles and I'm just trying to do the right thing here. So for doing any right thing, anything, your, your family deity will protect you. Your family deity will make sure nobody does bad karma towards you. Nobody has even despite having bad intentions, somehow in last minute their intentions may change and you may be saved from everything. Just try and see. It's a, it's a very, very strong security thing security thing and very much of a go-to person where a lot of kids in your day and age, modern age, may not feel so comfortable with their father or mother or their grandparents to say something, to express something, but they can always go to the Kul Devi or Kul Devta and in their heart they may worship and they may say, this is what I'm going to do or this is what is about, this is what has happened. Can you please guide me? I'm feeling directionless. I have no guidance in life. I don't know whom to listen to. I don't know whom not to listen to. Can you just show me a way? So whenever you feel lost, you have somebody to rely on to. But instead of relying on that higher power, you go on looking for friends. You go on looking for stupid people around you. And I'm saying stupid people because socially conditioned people, ignorant people, spiritually ignorant people, socially conditioned people, who will tell you when you are lost, they will not give you any, any sensible thing that resolves your karma or stops you from making a bad karma, creating a bad karma for yourself. Nothing will guide you according to these principles, these higher life principles. Nobody will guide you. Human beings, you won't find human beings guiding you that way. But your Kul Devi or Kul Devata can guide you accordingly. That keeps your karma straight, that helps you in life. Whatever problem you have got, you can just go to them and it, it gets solved. All you need is a real full faith. Even the headache pill, any painkiller will not work on your body if you think it's not going to work. Lot of experiments have been done, scientific experiments have been done where the person was given a paracetamol or ibuprofen tablets and other group was given some vitamin pills or some crazy calcium pills and they got healed because they believed because they had full faith that these are yes this is a painkiller and not just a calcium pill or you know useless pill they got healed so these phenomena these things only trust when you know they work how difficult it is to live your life when your own parents, your own spouse, nobody trusts you that you will do the right thing. When they do not trust you, just imagine how hard it is to live. 
how hard it is to prove yourself exactly in the same way it is for your kula devi and kula devata if you do not believe if you do not do not have faith if you do not have shraddha a reverence it does not work then it does not work they are not some kind of slave to you they are not the kind of powers you can control just like that without having faith without having shraddha or reverence in, in you you cannot control them so i would really request all the modern people all the so called younger generation to go find out who is your kul devi and devta start worshiping them now here i want to make clear of one more thing that <clears throat> girls usually will get married so before marriage they will have their kul devi or kul devta as whatever their father has whatever my father was praying to or whoever was protecting i was praying to that kul devi and devta okay and then later on when i got married that kul devi my kul devi and devta was some somebody from the my husband's family because women because females or women are shakti in themselves they can change the kul devi or devta because of their female body because they are the focal point of cosmic shakti cosmic power themselves they can change the kul devi or devta but men do not have that male body does not work like that male bodies cannot change their kul devi or devta until a really big phenomena happens in their family until they themselves become equivalent protector of their entire generation or family and raise their level of consciousness and have some other kind of shakti so they themselves can become the kul dev devta but still they they cannot change it so men or the boys or the male body uh, atmas souls have to go by whatever their parents have okay whatever kul devi or kul devta or family deity that your parents have got that is what you have to go on following for females even if you are divorced and if you are not going to marry again then if and if you have children go on using the same kul devi or devta i got divorced i filed for divorce right and i am divorced but because i have a son and that son is still following the kul devi or devta kul devi of that family so i am still tied to that because i have children so i am still tied to the same devi and devta and i am not marrying anybody else if i do i may change my son will not okay so women have the power to change it and they can pray to any kul devta or kul devi either from their mother's side and usually what happens is that whatever was the kul devi or devta or family deity before marriage you have got as a female in your parental house whatever is your parents kul devi or devta you make them your ist devta or ist devi ist means personal very personal just to you just for you very individual devi or devta so you can make them your ist devta or ist devi and the kul devi or kul devta of your husband's side you can use them as kul devi and kul devta so your parents side kul devi or devta becomes your ist dev devta or devi and that other side side is for anything so this is how it works and there is a difference between ist devta and kul devta kul devta is the family protector so if you have got a family and you are going for a family thing then you better pray to them and if you are something internally you are in turmoil or you are doing your bhakti or the one pointed focus on uh, some devi or devta or shakti that is who your ist devta or ist devi is okay so that's a very personal practice that's for the personal practice personal individual evolution individual progress but for your entire family's protection family's pro progress 
you need to pray to your kul devi and devta and women are well capable those atmas who are having female body in this lifetime they are very well capable of changing the kul devi and kul devta and it must be changed it should be changed it's a must if you do not change you are not protecting your next generation if you have kids you have children you you are not they will not they won't get protection so it's very important for the female to adopt the devi or devata of their husband side after marriage and if this is the culture this is the phenomena this is the religion you are born in according to your karma then you better follow it it's for your benefit it's not going to harm you in any way it's not there to uh, pose any kind of hurdles or waste the time that you have got in your life instead it may save thousands of hours of useless effort useless fight that you have to do against the karma of others in this world it may save you from all that okay so modern generation new generation needs to know who their kul devi kul devta are and start following their following them and start praying to them worshiping them and start learning how to do a proper puja proper worship of them okay namaste jai shiva Oh